I have to say I am a bit disappointed because, as the Honourable Lady Opposite says, um, you know, we had many debates in this place. There was a procedure committee review of parental leave uh, a long time ago, and it was always on the expectation that if it worked, we would include it, but we would also potentially expand it. Now, I see in this report that it says that we don't want to expand it because if somebody is very ill or recently bereaved, for the purpose of transparency, that would have to be disclosed. I'm sorry, I just don't accept that. And I do think that this is a missed opportunity. I would have liked to have seen the very deeply held views. We've had some colleagues in this place who've been desperately ill, so they are not allowed to proxy vote. They are just going to have to turn up or be paired. And at the time, what really sparked this change was that inadvertent breaking of a pair when uh, a colleague was off on maternity leave. So I do think it's a grave disappointment. I will give way to the Chair. I thank my right honourable friend for giving way, and I do want to pay tribute to her for the work she did to get us to this point. Can I just assure her, though, that the Procedure Committee is committed to looking at proxy voting once we're through the pandemic. And what we wanted to do at this stage was to make sure we had a report that allowed the government to bring motions forward on parental leave and also dealt with proxy votes during the pandemic. But we were, I give her my absolute commitment that we will look at this again in terms of whether it is right to expand proxy voting <coughs> beyond parental leave once we're back to, let's hope, business as normal at some point soon.